Hi, in this video, I will cover uh, a little bit about the positions detail keyword. I'll talk to you about uh, some of the inputs of the same keyword and I will show you with an example how you are supposed to understand how this keyword works so that you can make your strategies much more better, much more optimized and you can control the, the amount of trades that it takes uh, through the positions detail keyword. So uh, before, before you know going on to how to use the keyword, let us first understand what are the different types of uh, inputs that are available in, that key, in this keyword. So in positions detail, you will see condition type, transaction type and instrument type. Um, we'll talk about it uh, in a minute, but before that, let's talk about the value of quantity. So in this drop down, you will see value, quantity and count. And uh, in, in this video, whatever I talk will be mainly from the basis of quantity. Um, so I would suggest for most users, you would use quantity and uh, count would be used in certain situations, which I will get to in some time. So uh, when you select quantity, you will also have to select the underlying. So you can select either your instrument like Nifty, Bank Nifty, or you can select a list uh, based on which you need uh, your, uh, your instrument uh, to be. Now understand that position detail keyword is basically like a link between the positions that have already been traded in your strategy and the condition builder of your strategy. So if you want to get a detail, uh, detailed and uh, a detailed view of all the trades that have been taken, but you want to include certain trades, but you want to exclude the other trades that can be done using position detail keyword. So when you look at condition type, there is something called all entry repair once repair continues. Similarly, there's in transaction type, you have all buy and sell uh, in instrument type. You have all call and put. Now um, you would ask me, how are you supposed to use this? So in order to explain this, I have an Excel sheet and you can see that I have made a table out here. So let's assume this strategy has already taken uh, two entry trades, one repair once and one universal exit. Uh, for the for the sake of understanding now if I tell you that while using position detail if you are supposed to use uh, if you're supposed to only look at entry trades uh, as a human it would be fairly easy that okay you can just look at these two trades and ignore these two however if you want to tell the Tradetron system that you only need to look at entry trades and everything that I say like all the calculations that you need to make have to be only based on the entry trade alone in that case, what you can do is you can use position detail and you can select entry out here. What this does is it basically selects a, it basically is somewhat like creating a filter. So in this filter, previously you saw that there were uh, exit repair ones, all the different types of trades. Now I'll just select entry. Now when I click on this filter, it is only showing you the details of that entry trade. This means that now if I say quantity, uh, if I tell uh, the, the system to find out the quantity, the the quantity will basically be fetched as the sum of these two instruments. So the quantity where that will be fetched will be 50 um, using uh, this way. Now let's assume I select uh, all out here. In that case, again, this condition type out here instead of only having entry it will now look at all the positions and in this case now if I do a sum I will basically get a value as zero so using this this tool you can make sure that you are looking at certain trades and you are not looking at certain trades so let's assume I'm selecting my condition type as all similarly in my transaction type when I select sell it is basically like telling the system that look from all the transactions you are only supposed to look at the cell transactions. Now in this case since it is only looking at the two cells so using this method or logic if I again try to select the sum using this method I will get the sum as minus 50 because it's minus 25 and minus 25. So now my quantity that is fetched out here for only the cells for all the transaction type of cells is basically minus 50. So using this, I can now check if my two cell has been executed or not. Now I'll reset my transaction type and I'll only select my instrument type as call. So uh, now I will just select my filter and in my filter, I'll select only call. So you can see only the two call trades have been captured out here. Now, if I use my sum, 
it will basically give me a number as 0. So you can see that uh, things have drastically changed in terms of the quantity that I have I have been written. When I select only call, my my trades are the same. The, the, the trades are the same. Everything else is the same. Only thing, the return of the value of quantity is different because I'm getting these two calls, the buy call uh, and the sell call, which comes up to a total of uh, zero. But if I select something like my call and put, in this case, the quantity would be different. Or if I select only entry, and I remove my repair once and universal exit. Again, my quantity that I would be returning out here would be 25 and 25. That would be 50. So this way, you can uh, you can use uh, you can use like a predictive logic. That is that let's assume I want a trade to happen only when my entry and repair once 111 have triggered, but not when repair once 112 have triggered. In that case, what I can do is I can uh, I can predict which trades would have triggered. So, okay, one cell would have triggered, one cell would have triggered here. This square off would have happened. In that case, if these three are true, in that case, my position detail would equate to a particular number. So, that using that way, you can uh, you can basically uh, manipulate your your strategy into uh, into performing certain trades only when certain certain situations have already happened. So in this position detail keyword, you can also select multiple different uh, instruments. So let's say I can select an entry, buy and call. So now if I select the same out here, I've selected my filter as entry, I've selected my transaction type as buy and I have selected my instrument as only call. In this case, I get a different quantity as my result. So using these different variables out here, we can uh, we can make sure that certain conditions have happened, certain trades have happened, or certain open positions are there, using which we allow the condition to be built uh, for 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 the trade to have taken place. So I hope this video on the understanding of position detail helped you. Uh, we will make one more video in which I will I will cover the practical aspect of it. How do we use position detail in order to check if certain trades are taken? And when they are taken, only then we will allow the next trade to happen. For example, why do we use position detail entry all 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 with quantity is equal to number zero to restrict the entry trade from happening? So using a few examples, uh, we will cover that in the next video if possible. Uh, so I hope this video helped you. If you need more videos on uh, certain topics, feel free to drop it in the comments below. And uh, likes, comment and subscribe to this video. It helps us a lot. Thank you.